about all that's happened on uh, this day of legislative drama is Sudhanshu Mittal, uh, BJP leader and veteran journalist uh, Prem Shankar Jha. It's great to have you gentlemen with me. Uh, Mr. Mittal, it's a big day for the Prime Minister, isn't it? His government can now claim that it, is, it has been able to get insurance, mines and coal reforms through these uh, difficult uh, times in the upper house where the numbers just didn't add up. I think it's a great day for the democracy of this country. Why just the party? My belief is that uh, together with the government, the opposition has shown its commitment to development of the country. It is a reality that BJP is not in majority in Rajya Sabha. And the opposition has come forward to cooperate and get these uh, legislations passed, which are very critical for sound economic growth of this country. And I must compliment the entire polity. I mean, that is the spirit. I always say there's this word called Pratipaksh and there's a word called Vipaksh. For far too long, the mindset has been to act as Vipaksh. It should be Pratipaksh, the other side. The other side is also a part and parcel of development of this country. Not an adversary, but another perspective. But, uh, this has been demonstrated sure, but today, Mr. Mittal, really, frankly, uh, let me get in uh, Mr. Jha's perspective on this. Uh, what you know, let's, let's not look at from the narrow perspective of uh, floor coordination and, you know, <clears throat> the backroom politics and all that. I, you know, th this message today is not that. Mr. Jha was mentioning about the interest of the states in getting the coal uh, ordinance passed because it would benefit a lot of states. Well, that is true. That's not true for insurance bill. See, insurance bill does not have any ramifications in terms of revenue earning for the states. But yet, people have acted responsibly because they understand how critical and how, uh, how important it is for the economic development of this country. What I am saying is, yes, there has been political acrimony. Yes, a lot of hard stands have been taken by political establishments. But somewhere, while keeping their political uh, relevance intact, people have also realized that there is a responsibility which they have towards this nation. I think we must all welcome it. Let's not belittle it by looking at some of the politics which can be inferred out of what has happened today. But certainly something has changed in floor management strategy. Uh, as far as uh, the BJP's parliamentary affairs team is concerned, they've really got their act together to be able to bring the Congress on board. That had to be a huge ask, uh, Mr. Mittal. I agree. You see, a lot of effort has gone into it. There are two things which are critical in democracy. And for coordination of the floor also, one is... Sampark, the other is Samwad. Contact and communication. I think it's this part of it which the government has embarked upon, which has shown positive results. You know, continuous dialogue and engagement with the opposition on the needs of this country, on what is good for the country, on what these stand for and how people at large will be benefited. This continuous dialogue incorporating some of the suggestions which uh, they have to offer, being constructive towards seeking cooperation. These are the hallmarks which, which lead to a good engagement between government as well as the opposition. And I think this skill set which has been demonstrated has yielded results. Instead of confrontation, we've sought cooperation, we've sought communication, we've sought contact, and I think the results are out there well, it certainly seems like you've to Mittal, a BJP leader, is uh, with us, and so is uh, veteran journalist Prem Shankar Jha. But before I come to you, Mr. Jha, I want to ask you, Mr. Mittal, uh, like my colleague uh, Siddharth Zarabi is suggesting over there, is there a rethink on the land acquisition bill? Is there a trade off over here? Is my question to you. <coughs> Vikram, I wouldn't say there is a trade off right now. But the three C's which this government has embarked upon, they are critical. The contact, the communication, and the cooperation. You know, a lot of objections have been raised. 
the government has very patiently and very diligently listened to some of the concerns. And as Mr. Jetley said, a final view on the matter will be taken by the Council of Ministers in light of what has been communicated by people in terms of the concern, which I think is very fair for any government to be open to suggestions, criticisms and concerns. It's a very fair approach to building consensus around legislations. And that's what is being attempted, which is, I think, very healthy, very positive. You know, confrontationist politics is not what is very healthy for this country right now. We understand that. But uh, we're still trying to understand what has happened over here because uh, we did see the lack of consensus on this front. And now something has changed over here in Parliament. Mr. Jha, do you believe, like my colleague Siddharth Zarabi has pointed out, as he's picking up from his sources as well, is the BJP in some form of back-channel conversation with the Congress or other parties as well, trying to turn the numbers around for getting the land acquisition bill through the Rajya Sabha?